we have a little surprise for you. Hi, Katie. I'm sorry I'm not there today. Hi, Katie. It's been amazing over the past year to watch your strength. You're such a beautiful and amazing person. I want you to know that you're so strong. I will always love you and I will always be here for you. And I just wanted you to know that me and the boys were just so lucky to have you in our lives. Keep working hard, Kate. I'm so proud of you. I love you. No matter what happens, we're here for you. And I just love you so much. I love you, Mama. And, and looking at that tape, how does that make you feel? It just makes every day worth it and every painful experience worth, worth it yeah. to me. You know, you're clearly a really strong-willed, brave person to have made it through this, but when something so traumatic happens where it involves so much horror and fear that you might not make it, people sometimes will have post-traumatic symptoms. Sometimes they have recurrent nightmares they can't go around things that might remind them of what happened. Has any of that happened with you and how have you dealt with it? Um, yeah, I, I recognized it. As soon as I got to the hospital, I actually couldn't sleep. I just kept reliving the events and uh, would, wouldn't be able to sleep. And when I did, it was five minutes and I'd wake up and I'd feel like I was right there again. And um, to this day, I still struggle with sleeping just because, yeah. you know, it feels so real. Um, well, you're, there's always, always sort of a sense of being a little bit more vigilant than usual. Yeah. Being startled easily, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. that didn't exist for you before. Yeah, it's just so many different things that come together that you go through your day and you wouldn't, you don't expect it. And then something happens and it brings you right back to that moment. When a traumatic event happens for us, our brains imprint that memory so much stronger than a normal, ordinary memory. Mm -hmm. And so it can come back at times when you have no idea, there's been no association seemingly, but it just, all of a sudden, there's just one little piece that flashes back. And so now that you know that this could be potentially something that you might have to deal with for the rest of your life, getting the right treatment and interventions and the right coping skills is extremely crucial for your good recovery. Dr. Eugene Lipoff, groundbreaking research is changing the way PTSD is treated. With a simple epidermal injection to the neck, he's stopping the symptoms of PTSD. And on this show, we've seen success after success with guests who use Dr. Lipoff's treatment. And Dr. Lipoff actually wants to offer this to you free of charge. Okay, this is gonna be really important because what this does is, as we were discussing, you have these startle reflexes and this sort of heightened sympathetic nervous system. And what his injection does is it actually blocks the nerve that feeds that system. So it hopefully will help to restore you to your pre-arousal state, which is what's going to help you have longer lasting relief from some of the PTSD symptoms. But we're not done, because in addition to that, Upward Transition Therapeutic Horsemanship is offering you one year of therapeutic equine therapy. <laughs> I hear you love horses, right? I do. Yeah? I do. Yeah. Well, it's a really interesting thing because what we know about equine therapy is that there's some early research that shows it's an interesting thing between the horse and the human bond. It helps you to establish safety again, which is very important to help with those PTSD symptoms. And it actually has some parallels to the therapeutic alliance that you might have with your behavioral therapist. It's that same sort of feeling of comfort, helps you to build self-efficacy, mm -hmm. self-esteem, all of the things that can be really helpful after something that feels so out of control for you, trying to regain that control back back and since you love horses we thought this was totally appropriate for you. Thank you. And we are still not done yet though. We have, <laughs> I can't think of a more deserving person for all of this. And the producers at Boat Angel of the Donkey Island programs wants to generously donate a check of $10,000 to you and your children. How are you feeling right now? Um, a little overwhelmed, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Very humbled by all the generosity and um, feeling very blessed. And thank you so much for coming to share your story with everybody and not only taking good care of yourself and your family, but wanting to spread that love and care to others through your work as a nurse. And we're so excited to see what's next for you. Yes. You are an extraordinary person. Can